Now, let me talk about infinity for a bit. Human beings lack the ability to comprehend what infinity entails. And this is because of how we understand time. A lot of physicists will tell you that time in its own very nature is an illusion. And our perception of time is what helps us understand this reality, this realm of human being. But in reality, time is an illusion. But in order for this illusion to be created in our head, two things need to be present, movement and observation. This is how they've been able to map out how long the universe has existed from the very first explosion of light to the big bang theory and our observation with the equipments that we have today that we're able to see how far those lights have traveled the movement the big bang and our observation with the special equipments we have this is how we've been able to create time and as a result human beings we comprehend time in a linear fashion but the reality is that time in its own very nature is an illusion what actually is is existence existence in its own their nature is infinite and in quantum physics a lot of quantum physicists would definitely agree that time in its own their nature is an illusion it does not exist the only thing that does exist is existence itself not even space because even space is a construct that we created in our heads this is a human construct that we've created what exists is existence itself and we don't really understand this existence again remember existence in its own their nature is infinite and it's impossible for for us finite human beings to fully comprehend the idea of existence but we are humble enough to understand and acknowledge that there is something out there that is infinite in its own very nature and that thing is existence and the interesting thing about existence is for example starting with space a lot of quantum physicists do believe that snapshots in time exists infinitely which means that everything that has ever happened that is happening right now and will ever happen is all happening all at once we're not able to time travel hence why we're not able to go back to the time of the dinosaurs or go back to the big bang theory or go back before the big bang theory even happened or figure out what, what's going to happen in a million years from today because we don't currently have that ability to be able to travel between space and time but quantum physicists do believe that every single snapshot in our understanding of time is all happening all at once again your birth is happening right now your death is happening right now and you are happening right now this is is because now is all there is now is all there has ever been now is all there will ever be now is all there is think about it even now can't even be quantified you can't even think about now as a second you can't even think of it as a millisecond because with each passing moment of now now is always moving even last week when you were doing whatever it is that you were doing you were doing it now not now now as we perceive but now it was now back then and even next week when you will be doing whatever it is that you will be doing you will be doing it in the now not in the next week it's always now it will always be now now is all there is and this is why time in its own very nature is an illusion a construct that we human beings have created to understand this illusion of reality